Oh God, so you know how to trigger me. Um, oh God, uh, 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 what is it? God God made Samuel Colt and, and, and the Colt Peacemaker made man, or no, God made man and Samuel Colt made them equal, right? So once we get past the Civil War, Civil War era shit, we ended up into the realm of um, revolvers, whether it was cap and ball, eventually the single action army, and then move on to a plethora of other shit. Uh, Semi-automatics existed pre-1900, and, and the, the older the person, the more they're going to absolutely deny that that's a fact. So, revolvers have, have two problems. One, they're low capacity. I don't give a shit what it's chambered in. You're getting anywhere between five rounds and ten, if it's like some weird wonky 22, 22 Magnum, whatever, shit like that. So. When it comes to operating a revolver proficiently, um, you 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 cannot reload fast. Um, the triggers are 15, 16, 17 pounds versus a semi-automatic, which is four, five, six pounds, something like that. But you lose capacity and you lose speed of reload. So I'm a competitive shooter, right? So I set up a match every single week at my range. And I shoot that match every single week with a different gun that I own. And I think my favorite one so far was, I have a Smith & Wesson 586, and I built this thing ground up, Cerakoted, I'll never do that shit again. Um, there was more hand fitting to that gun than anything I've ever done. But uh, it took me four speed loaders um, to shoot, a, I think it was a 24 round course of fire. Um, they are slow. And the, the problem is, is people go, oh, revolvers don't jam. Um, I've punched a primer, locked up a hammer. Um, or I've seen people take like a Taurus Judge and uh, two and three quarter, four ten shotgun shell. I've seen them put three inch shotgun shells in these stupid judges, shoot it. As soon as that crimp opens up, it goes inside of the barrel. It locks the fucking cylinder up. So don't tell me that revolvers don't jam. A semi-automatic is faster, it is more accurate, and it is better in every single way to a revolver. If you can't reload or rack a slide on a semi-automatic, you have one of two problems. Either A, nobody has ever shown you how to do it properly, or B, you're trying the wrong guns. Um, you know, your husband handed whatever pride and bullshit was in a safe and said, here, honey, rack this. And you tried for three seconds, you struggled, and you said, I can't do it, and you put it down. And then that's when he turned around, and he gave you a Smith & Wesson J-frame, uh, 642, 442, whatever. Um, I love revolvers. They have their place. When it comes to self-defense and concealed carry, revolvers are good for a backup, and that's it. The reloading aspect of it, um, if you've never heard, the New York Reload, right? The New York Reload wasn't actually dumping spent shells out of a revolver and reloading more shells into it. The New York Reload was pitching your, your spent revolver to the side and pulling out a second one. And if that doesn't tell you how slow and worthless a revolver is in a gunfight, then I don't know what will. So pick up something. In today's modern semi-automatic world, when you can have capacities of, of, of 15 rounds, 12 rounds, um, and the frame of a gun that is roughly the size of your bullshit little J-frame revolver, there is absolutely no reason. Uh, in home defense, again, you're limited. Most revolvers don't have a way to mount a flashlight. Um, in home defense, you should have two flashlights at all times. You should have one on your gun, that's for illuminating, stunning, and holding a threat, and you should have one in your hand. And that one is for identifying that threat because in, in the firearms world, we don't point guns at things we don't intend to destroy. Uh, the other problem with that is you're not grabbing speed roll, speed loaders, you're not putting your race belt on. You've got six rounds when you go down the stairs of your house to shoot at potentially three to four people, which is the average during a, your average home break-in. Um, I avoid them like the plague. But talking about home defense, the reality is people come into my store and they're like, well, I want a shotgun. And I'm gonna go on a tangent. So thank you for asking me that question. That was a mighty handsome question, but I'm gonna go on a tangent. And I hate it. People are like, oh, I want a 12 gauge shotgun. My neighbor, Jim, told me that that's what I needed for home defense. And you say, fine, why? Uh, one, uh, the sound of a pump shotgun will make a bad guy pee his pants right where he stands. 
bullshit. You pump a shotgun, I'm gonna know exactly where you're at. If I'm gonna do some nefarious shit inside your home, I wanna know where you are, armed or not. Do not give two shits. Uh, two, shotguns don't go through walls. Bullshit. Shotguns go straight through walls. I don't care if you've got number eight birdshot, a slug, or buckshot. Does not matter. It is going through multiple layers of sheetrock. It's a fucking myth. You don't have to aim a shotgun. And that's the one that pisses me off more than anything else because that's why my target carriers have had the damn paint erased on my range. You have to aim a shotgun because your average home defense scenario is going to be 21 feet or less. A shotgun, regardless of what choke is inside of it, is going to have a spread of about this. And if you think that you can hit fire your bullshit Mossberg shockwave or pistol grip crusader shotgun at a bad guy in a hallway and not have to aim, you're in for a world of hurt. What do you use for, what, what do I use, right? What do I use for home defense, right? Just your shotgun's got five rounds, maybe seven rounds if you got an extension, that's it. What do I use? I use an AR-15. One, I've got 30 round magazine in that thing. If I've got to face more than one person, I want as many rounds as I can get. Two, I've got a flashlight mounted and I've got an optic that stays on. My optics have a 50,000 hour battery life. Any quality manufacturer is going to have that. But a 5.56 round is traveling so fast that it's also going to penetrate less sheetrock before it disintegrates and fragments. So am I gonna use a revolver for home defense? See, I circled right back around to your question. Am I gonna use revolvers for home defense? Hell no, my revolvers are heirlooms, they're fun range toys, that's it. Am I gonna use a handgun for home defense? No, because I don't have enough ammo. Rifles are inherently easier to shoot and higher capacity. Am I gonna use a shotgun? Absolutely fucking not. They don't, do what people think they're going to. I'm gonna grab my AR-15 rifle, my wife is gonna grab the one on the side of her bed, but I'm gonna go one further. I throw silencers on my shit. I throw silencers on everything. That's how I live my life. Why? Because if you've never shot a gun inside of a 150 square foot room, it's incredibly fucking loud. You're not gonna hear it for the rest of your life. You're gonna shoot that gun around your infant child, your toddler child, or even your adolescent child. You're gonna permanently damage their hearing. If you're going to use a firearm for home defense, you need two flashlights, one on the gun, one in your hand. You need something to protect your hearing. Are you gonna put muffs on in the middle of the night? Hell no, go invest in a silencer. You spent two grand on a rifle anyways. What is another 700 fucking dollars? But for the love of God, stop acting like revolvers are the end all be all of self-defense. They are not, they're antiquated. If that's how you feel, go get a cannon, aim it at your front door, sleep better at night.